Darkest Hour, 3D, short movie review. Sean is a bit of a never-do-well, and he and his good friend Ben are in Moscow, and since their business deal have gone sour, they don't know exactly what they're gonna do, but they're set to party for the night where they meet two other Westerners. Natalie, who's not exactly fond of Sean's attitude, and Anne, who's a bit more social and laid back. After they get to know each other, and we get to know them, aliens attack. And not just any aliens, but lethal to the touch, kind of invisible aliens. And, you know, our, our little band of survivors, after just staying in a basement for a week and living off canned food, emerge only to find the people of Moscow have almost all been turned to ash, which is what happens when you come into contact with these aliens. And this is a far more effective image than piles of bodies. You know, the ash, it's very evocative of uh, sort of our, our age is now over. You know, the, the age of mankind is a thing of the past. You know, ashes to ashes, that whole thing. They try to survive and find their way through the city and think of some way to defeat these things. This film is tense pretty much from start to finish. We spend the first 10 or 15 minutes getting to know these characters, and that time is well spent. And after that, it is just constantly glued to the chair. Incredibly exciting and intense. It is not an action film, but rather very much these people just trying to survive against near impossible odds. And as such, you know, there are some surprises along the way. It takes the consequence of such deadly aliens. The characters are really good. Most, you know, there, there are some stereotypes, but genuinely credible and, you know, well-rounded characters. They, they all have personality and you really feel like this is someone you might know in real life. The dialogue is good, Acting is quite good, with a couple of bad notes to the performances. The effects are great, and the 3D really helps to build, excuse me, and maintain an atmosphere. It never, excuse me, it never shows off, it's never flashy, but it really puts you, excuse me, right there with the characters in their struggle. It's not a terribly visual film, but there are some outstanding sights, and these almost all help to establish something, or, you know, they, they serve a purpose. There's almost nothing gratuitous about the film. It is a bit of a mainstream Hollywood film. You might almost call it a popcorn flick, but it's one of the better ones. It's one of the more intense ones. The... That actually does about. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.